Trent Reznor has come out saying that we are witnessing firsthand and in real time the fall of America. In the meantime, Bill Maher says that he wants a recession to happen. Well, let me tell you, you enlightened, rich, stupid people. The only reason that you say these things is because you are rich and you can ride it out. If America falls, you can run to Europe. You want to blame Trump for everything, but you don't seem to mention any of the other things that are destroying this country. Bill Maher, you want a recession because if it happened, you wouldn't be risking starvation. You wouldn't be risking homelessness. You would be just fine. And if it really came down to it, you could simply leave and start over in another country. Start over. Is having, what, damn near $50 million starting over? Is that really starting over? I don't know. I'm going to have to research that, I guess. I always thought starting over implied not having resources at your disposal. Anyway, continuing on. This reminds me a lot of... When Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. Now, if you don't understand that reference, if you don't understand what she was saying when she said it, I am going to school you, okay? You just hold on to your little britches there, big boy, and I will tell you exactly what she meant. See, back then, if you ran out of bread to eat and you were rich... Part of the aristocracy, you simply said, well, I guess we're going to have to go on healthy today and eat us some cake. Seriously, you don't have bread, you just eat cake. Now, these people, these, the, the proletariat in France <laughs> say, we're starving. We don't even have any bread to eat. And this idiot, this this Bill Maher of revolutionary France, she says, well, shit, let them eat some cake. Oh, my goodness. Bill Maher, that's what you are. Oh, I know what would solve this Trump thing. A recession. Then people would realize that Trump's bad for this country. No, we'd realize a recession is bad for this country. And being somebody that wants it, you are bad for this country, Bill Maher. You absolute dolt. You ridiculous human being. And Trent Reznor, yes, we are witnessing the fall of America. You're right, but you're wrong about why it is. You see, events that precipitated the fall of Rome did not include Donaldus Trumpus. No, it included... Grown men having sex with little boys in lieu of having sex with their wives. Huh, does that remind you of anything? Like maybe all of Hollywood? You know, that elitist cabal that you are part of, Trent. Do you, do you have a little something to hide there? I don't know. I'm not going to cast aspersions upon what you're doing, but it seems to me like maybe you know a little more than we do. Let's continue on. Feminism was a big deal in ancient Rome. Feminists were absolutely on the march in the years precipitating the fall of Rome. Okay? All this activism, all these dumb things. Hey, you know what? Since we don't have to worry about survival anymore, well, I'm going to start bitching about the fact that I can't wear a diaper out in public with no pants because people are going to make fun of me. That's what's causing the fall of America. You want to talk about the fall of America? How about these people that love the kink of infantilism and so they go to their public health service 
because they don't want to pay for it themselves and they actually get on public benefits that are paid for by the taxpayers so that they can get free diapers to wear. Don't believe me? Look up... what. What is she called? She's very popular in that whole infantilism market. Uh, toddler girl? Is that is that her username? Is that what she's known by? Yeah. Look this lady up. Turns out she lives in England and she's sitting there talking about how there's nothing wrong with her kink of infantilism because she contributes to society. She works a good job. She makes good money. She can afford her own home. She's got a husband. And then it turns out that she is going to the NHS, National Health Service, there in the, in the uh, United Kingdom. That's their socialized health care. And she is defrauding them, getting diapers from them to support her kink. This is what's causing the fall of America. You idiots. You absolute morons. The fact that you want to sit here and cry about illegal immigrants who, rather than fix their own country like they're supposed to, through revolution, and you know, the only way through revolution is through uh, blood and sweat and tears and death, no, they'd rather just come to an already established country and bloat us and eat our resources and eventually kill us and them. No, go fix your damn country. Those who are corrupt, kill them. There are what? Seven, eight million of you? Guess what? There aren't seven or eight million bullets in the building that you should be storming. But instead, no. Please come en masse to the American border and demand to be let in under the auspices of... Oh, no. I can't remember the word. Not sanctuary, but I'm going to go with sanctuary, okay? Jeez. This is what I get for not sleeping. Can't remember words. Me, me fail English? That's impossible. Anyways, continuing on. It gets even worse. Time Magazine had that red cover with Trump on the far right, you know, like he's blocking off the entrance and that little girl in the middle, who was the little girl who was screaming and crying because her mom was missing. And the left and the media were just using the hell out of this girl. Like, if she were a hooker, she wouldn't be able to walk for months. Okay? And it turns out today that that was all a fraud. Time Magazine is even issuing an apology for it. But, too little too late. Because what's going to happen? When people remember this time, they're not going to remember that the left defrauded everybody, that the media defrauded everybody. No, they're going to remember Trump was an asshole and he didn't let little kids come into this country. He wanted them to go and die in some war in their country. I don't know why I'm using the redneck voice for everything. Girl, I'm just going to start talking like this for the rest of the video. See, what we got is the problem of, like, people, they don't like Donald Trump because he was talking about pussy grabbing and stuff like that. When, really, he was just saying, chicks going to let you do it. Realize that? When you got all that money and all that fame, you ain't got to reach out and grab him. Chicks going to just put it right in your hand. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I'm not going to continue doing that. It's just absolutely ridiculous that people are falling for this. But I'm going to tell you this. This is a psychological fact. People don't remember what you say. They remember the feeling that they got when you said what you said. It's an absolute truth. It is a real psychological thing. 
And people are going to remember the feeling of this time. They're not going to remember Time Magazine apologizing. They're not going to remember that all of the pictures of the kids in cages happen to be from 2014 or happen to be from a Texas protest against Trump and the protesters were putting their own kids in those cages as a show, as a piece of performance art. No, instead, people are going to remember that Donald Trump is an asshole who hates immigrants. They're going to forget to put in the word illegal because they're dumb. They're dumb like Bill Maher. They're dumb like Trent Reznor. They're dumb like Robert De Niro. They're dumb like Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau, you are running the country on the legacy of being a freaking supply art teacher and possibly Fidel Castro's son. I'm just saying, your mom spent a lot of time with him, and you look a lot like him. You don't look like like Pierre. Listen, we're above 11 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. If you want more content like this, please hit that like button. Give me some beef in the comments. Either hate on me or love on me. I don't care. I'll respond in proper kind to whichever. In the meantime, catch me on Twitter at HYL underscore Mickey underscore M. I would love to talk to you. I'm a little more vulgar there than I am anywhere else except real life, of course. Apparently I'm so vulgar that, like, family disowns me and shit. Anyway, I hope y'all have an excellent day. Goodbye.